Io, one of Jupiter's most intriguing moons, presents a fascinating story that blends celestial mechanics, volcanic activity, and space exploration. Io's moves around Jupiter in an irregular elliptical orbit due to the influence of Jupiter's other moons, Ganymede and Europa. The influence of these moons on Io causes Io to constantly point in the same direction toward the giant planet. As a result, Io experiences extreme tidal forces, depending on how far it is from Jupiter. These forces cause Io's surface to bulge up and down by as much as 330 feet. Compare these tides on Io's solid surface to the tides on Earth's oceans. On Earth, in the place where tides are highest, the difference between low and high tides is only 60 feet, 18 meters, and this is for water, not solid ground. Io's orbit, keeping it at more or less a cozy 262,000 miles, 422,000 kilometers, from Jupiter, cuts across the planet's powerful magnetic lines of force, thus turning Io into an electric generator. Io can develop 400,000 volts across itself and create an electric current of 3 million amperes. This current takes the path of least resistance along Jupiter's magnetic field lines to the planet's surface, creating lightning in Jupiter's upper atmosphere. Io was formed about 4.5 billion years ago. Io is the innermost of the four Galilean moons of Jupiter, discovered by Galileo Galilei in 1610. This discovery played a pivotal role in changing our understanding of the universe, supporting the Copernican model that planets orbit the Sun, not Earth. Io is slightly larger than Earth's moon and is primarily composed of silicate rock surrounding a molten iron or iron sulfide core. What makes Io stand out in the solar system is its extreme geological activity, which is the most intense of any celestial body in the solar system. This activity is the result of intense tidal forces exerted by Jupiter's immense gravity as well as orbital resonances with other Galilean moons, Europa and Ganymede. These forces cause immense tidal heating, flexing Io's interior and generating its volcanic activity. Io's surface is dotted with hundreds of volcanoes, some of which are active and emit plumes of sulfur and sulfur dioxide that can extend up to 500 kilometers into space. Io presents a fascinating story that blends celestial mechanics, volcanic activity, and space exploration. The surface is also colorful, covered in sulfur in different forms, leading to yellow, red, white, black, and green regions. The exploration of Io began with the Voyager 1 and 2 flybys in 1979, which revealed its volcanic nature for the first time. Subsequent missions such as Galileo, New Horizons, and Juno have provided more insights into Io's geology, atmosphere, and interaction with Jupiter's magnetosphere. Io's influence extends beyond its orbit. Io generates a powerful electric current known as the Io flux tube, linking it to Jupiter's magnetic field. This interaction creates intense radiation belts and auroras on Jupiter. Io is one of the most inhospitable places in our solar system, and it is entirely uninhabitable for several reasons. Io's surface temperature can vary dramatically, ranging from extremely cold to scorching hot. It averages around 143 degrees Celsius, 230 degrees Fahrenheit in the shade, but it can reach temperatures of over 1,200 degrees Celsius to 200 degrees Fahrenheit near its numerous active volcanoes. The surface pressure on Io is nearly zero, making it incapable of supporting a breathable atmosphere. Humans would require specialized suits to survive. Io has virtually no atmosphere to speak of, its thin exosphere consists mostly of sulfur dioxide, which quickly freezes on the surface when exposed to extreme cold. This lack of a substantial atmosphere means there is no protection from harmful cosmic radiation or solar winds. Io orbits within Jupiter's intense radiation belts, which subject the Moon to extremely high levels of radiation. These radiation levels would be lethal to any living organism and are a significant obstacle to human exploration. Volcanic eruptions are continuously altering the surface of Io. The extreme temperatures and volcanic activity make it impossible for any life as we know it to exist there. Io's surface is covered in sulfur compounds, including sulfur dioxide and sulfuric acid. Calderas, mountains, and plains formed by volcanic eruptions dominate the terrain. Io exploration holds significance for Earth and the broader field of planetary science for several reasons. Io's intense volcanic activity provides scientists with a unique opportunity to study volcanic processes in extreme conditions. By studying Io's volcanoes, scientists can gain insights into the dynamics of volcanic activity on Earth and other planetary bodies, helping us better understand our own planet's geology. This phenomenon 
is an essential aspect of celestial mechanics and has implications for understanding the behavior of moons and planets in our solar system and beyond. It helps scientists refine our understanding of tidal forces and their effects on celestial bodies. Io's extreme environment provides a comparative basis for understanding other planetary bodies in our solar system and beyond. By studying Io's surface, geology, and atmosphere, scientists can draw parallels with other moons and exoplanets, enhancing our understanding of the diversity of planetary processes. Missions to Io and other moons in the outer solar system, like Europa and Titan, serve as testing grounds for spacecraft and instruments. The challenges posed by Io's extreme radiation and temperature conditions help engineers and scientists develop and test technology for future space exploration missions to more distant and potentially habitable locations. These discoveries contribute to our broader understanding of planetary science and our solar system's history. Io has a significant impact on Jupiter, primarily through its influence on Jupiter's magnetosphere and the creation of an intense radiation belt. Here's a detailed look at the effects and impacts. Io's extreme volcanic activity is due to the intense tidal forces exerted by Jupiter's strong gravitational pull. As Io orbits Jupiter, it undergoes significant flexing due to these tidal forces. This flexing generates heat within Io, leading to its widespread volcanic activity. This volcanism reshapes Io's surface continuously and ejects significant amounts of material into space. Io orbits Jupiter's magnetosphere and releases sulfur dioxide gas from its volcanic eruptions. This gas becomes ionized and forms a plasma torus around Jupiter, a donut-shaped ring of charged particles. The interaction between Io's plasma torus and Jupiter's magnetic field contributes to Jupiter's auroral activity. The charged particles from Io can accelerate along Jupiter's magnetic field lines and strike the planet's upper atmosphere, creating spectacular auroras, much like the northern and southern lights on Earth but far more intense. Io contributes to the intense radiation environment around Jupiter. The ionized particles from Io, along with those from Jupiter's magnetosphere, create radiation belts that are among the harshest in the solar system. This intense radiation poses a significant challenge for spacecraft visiting the Jovian system. Io's presence and its interaction with Jupiter's magnetic field create a unique electrical current system known as the Io flux tube. This flux tube carries a powerful electric current between Io and Jupiter's polar regions. The interaction also leads to radio emissions, which can be detected by radio telescopes on Earth. Its continuous volcanic activity, interaction with Jupiter's magnetic field, and contribution to auroral and radio emissions make it a unique and important satellite in our solar system. Thanks for watching Time Pilgrimage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating time and space related content.